Welcome to another edition of Fight News Now Extra. I'm John Pollock with all of your news happening today in mixed martial arts. As usual, John Ramdean and Robin Black will be joining me as we discuss Bellator's first pay-per-view with another fight announced. George St. Pierre comments on the recent policy changes regarding testosterone replacement therapy. And Eddie Alvarez is not happy with one Gilbert Melendez. Bellator lightweight champion Eddie Alvarez recently commented on Gilbert Melendez re-signing with the UFC after an offer was made in principle by Bellator. Alvarez stated that Melendez doesn't want to be in any promotion with Alvarez, knowing it's a bad fight for him and has avoided fighting him on numerous occasions throughout his career. When Bellator launched in 2009, it was actually Melendez they went after for a Hispanic star to market, but he had a very good deal with Strikeforce at the time and therefore Bellator went after Eddie Alvarez. George St. Pierre spoke to members of the media in Brazil regarding the recent changes to the TRT policies within the sport. St. Pierre stated he is happy those changes have been made with Nevada and subsequently the UFC no longer issuing TUEs for the therapy. The former welterweight champion still feels more needs to be done and advocated random drug testing and utilizing the carbon isotope ratio test which can detect any synthetic testosterone in one system but is a much more expensive test to administer. And Bellator has confirmed that the finals of the current light heavyweight tournament will take place May the 17th at Bellator's inaugural pay-per-view with Quinton Jackson taking on Mohamed King Mo Lawal. The card will be headlined by the third fight between lightweight champion Eddie Alvarez and Michael Chandler in Memphis, Tennessee at the Landers Center. Jackson and Mo punched their tickets to the finals with wins over Christian Mpumbu and Mihail Zayats respectively at Bellator 110 two weeks ago. And I am here with John Ramdean and Robin Black as we get set for UFC 171. It is coming up Saturday, but also uh, a lot of anger from one Bellator lightweight champion, Eddie Alvarez. He is, he is pissed that he is not fighting Gilbert Melendez in the near future. He feels that a pattern throughout Gilbert Melendez's <laughs> career has been avoiding Eddie Alvarez. And I'm sorry, you put that contract in front of any fighter. I feel Gilbert Melendez with one of the great contracts in lightweight, yeah. maybe MMA history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so let me get this straight: that Gilbert Melendez is ducking Eddie Alvarez, but he's willing to take on Anthony Pettis. That he's afraid of Eddie Alvarez, but he's not afraid of Anthony Pettis. It makes absolutely no sense. Gilbert Melendez is just a smart, smart businessman. Before people in the UFC even heard of this guy, he was fighting on CBS with his buddy Jake Shields. It's all been, it's been all about the business for Gilbert Melendez. He's very intelligent, knows how to play the game. The best contract for, for Gilbert was in the Ultimate Fighting Champion. I gotta disagree, man. If I listen, Alvarez has a great point here. <laughs> what he should have done is turn down the better deal. Deal, turn down the bigger exposure, turn down the ultimate fighter, turn down the opponent, the marquee opponent, and fight Andy Alvarez. Yeah. That's what he should have done. No, he should not. No. no, no, no. Not, not to mention, though, the fact that the UFC here, I mean, they, they had their matching rights here, and they, they more than matched the deal. I, yeah, but he, clearly, he convinced the UFC to do this because he's ducking Alvarez. So, so the UFC was like, no, let him go. And he's like, look, man, I'm, I got to get away from Eddie Alvarez. So if you wouldn't mind just making me a really good matching offer. I think you're nuts yeah. right now. <laughs> I know, I am a little crazy. I just got a haircut. I got dumber. Well, you know. <laughs> Eddie Alvarez, his next date will be with Michael Chandler, May the 17th, uh, the third fight for these two. It will be on pay-per-view, and now they're getting the addition of Quinton Jackson and King Mo onto that pay-per-view card, which is going to be in Memphis, which is uh, Quinton Jackson's hometown. As this card is shaping up together, as that as your two marquee fights on, those are going to obviously determine the success or failure of this pay-per-view. Are you optimistic about this pay-per-view, taking into account the fact this is going to happen just a few weeks after Floyd Mayweather's next fight, and it's going to be in the middle of the UFC running a number of shows one week before Weidman and Machida as well. Yeah, I mean, I love the Bellator product. Uh, it's very, very entertaining. Uh, getting to see some of my favorite fighters of all time, like Quentin Jackson and Eddie Alvarez, Michael Chandler proving that he's as legit as any 155-pound fighter competing in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. But I think that for Bellator to go to pay-per-view, people still don't know their product. They don't. People don't get amped up to say, Friday night, I know what I'm doing. I'm watching Bellator. If you're a hardcore fan and you happen to tune in, it's like, 
think, man, this is a good product. They've got some interesting storylines yeah. and this and that. But I think to go to pay-per-view is, uh, I think it's too soon. I agree with you because I think selling Bellator now on Spike is like, hey, people watch Spike for fighting. This is fighting. We we'll give them good fights. We'll, we'll package it in a way that they're familiar and then some of them might stick around. But uh, to do pay-per-view, you have to literally go out, grab them and, and get them to say, I'm going to spend yeah. 39 49 whatever their thing is, of my money and select this entertainment option over every other option in the world. That's very, very different. I don't know if they're going to be able to pull it off. I'm sure there'll be some great fights. I'm sure we're going to enjoy yeah. it. We'll throw a little party here at the Fight Network for our friends. Do you think it's worth the risk that at least here we do have a card? This is probably the best marquee card we can put together. Let's at least try. Let's at least see what is the appetite out there. And they might lose their ass on this pay-per-view, but do you think that they at least need to take that step? Or with the Viacom deal, do they need to yeah. take this risk? I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't think... I mean, a lot of the times, even if you're educated and even if you spend your time analyzing these things, we're just still missing so many pieces of information. But it feels like, you know, you would never take this risk if you didn't have money to burn. And that, just because you have money to burn doesn't mean you should burn it, you know? I think they're doing well on television. They have a television product. But, you know, hey, it's not my money. It's not my billions, you know? Uh, I, however, I do think if Bellator decides, you know, to focus now on the undercard, you have Eddie Alvarez, you have Michael Chandler, King Mo, and Rampage. And if they do kind of an old school MMA approach and load the card with their talent, you put Pat Curran on there, you put uh, Pitbull Freyte on the card, you put Joe Warren on the card, make some interesting matchups so the hardcore fans say, okay, I have no choice, and uh, put it on a Sunday. I don't know if they need to have it on a, on a Saturday. We will find out. And if Eddie Alvarez does win that fight, I mean, speculation is that he could leave after that. Right. He pretty much has to go to the UFC now or else he'd be ducking Gilbert Melendez, <laughs> yeah, wouldn't he? Yeah. I think that this could all tie up into yeah. a very nice I boat. think Eddie Alvarez would be fine with that, though. Yeah. Well, in the short term, we have a pay-per-view coming up Saturday with UFC 171. We'll be chatting about that a lot throughout this week. But up right now, we have more of Fight News Now Extra.